It's a good afternoon for some reason, but it's not for Maryland basketball here at Xfinity Center. This is the Big Dog postgame show. Maryland falls 68-55. The offense wasn't there today. Just the defense was good enough. Offense was not there. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Jack Rothenberg. Jack, you've been writing about the game all day uh, for your post-game article on TripTalk.com. What would you see out there? Yeah, I thought the Terps, they came out strong. They started the game with an 8-0 run. Ayala hit a three right off the bat. He kind of started where he left off from the Rutgers game. But ever since there, Indiana was able to creep back in the game. They then scored 13 straight, making it a 13-8 game. But Maryland's offense couldn't really get it going all day. There were lapses. All throughout the game, they, they went one, one of their last seven field goals on many occasions, and down the stretch, they just couldn't find enough offense to keep themselves in the game, and that's what the final score reflected. As people note on Twitter and every place else, how many times over the past 10 years do you have to think of a phrase like, Maryland hasn't scored in the last six minutes? It just happens far too many times. When you lose a game that you needed, this was the game that was going to make the season. You win today, you beat Michigan State, you're five and six, and you're relevant. The way the Terps came out, you'd think that was possible. But my goodness, they just could not score. The offense had no rhythm. When you think about this, like in the sense of writing an article, you probably at some point have to wonder how this team is constructed and why the offense runs the way it does. What's your thoughts on that? Right, yeah, I think you see Fats Russell with the ball on offense a lot of the times, and I think sometimes fans want to see Ayala take the ball up the court and see what he can do with that point guard position. But I think a stat that really was pointed out to me in this game was that Scott, Ayala, and Russell combined 6 of 31 in the game field goal attempts. I think that really tells a story, and I think, yeah, we can talk about the, the defensive struggles that the Terps had today, but I think it all really starts on the offensive end, because if you can't make any shots, you're never going to be in any game. And with that uplifting news, we will take a word here from Rick Jacklich and Rakim Jarrett. Of course, there's good things to talk about on the football side, and if we can get Jordan Steffi, who's just to my left, we might do that after this break. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Indiana 68, the Terps 55. receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm and why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country, as well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jack Litch Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. Covering the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer, get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Back on the court at Xfinity Center, joining in former Terp quarterback, number 19, Jordan Steffi. You look like you could still play today. <laughs> I feel pretty good, but I'm pretty sure I couldn't get out on the field. How are you doing? I, I'm doing okay. I'm really hopeful about the football team. I'm sure that you follow from afar. A Kevin Steele joins the staff. What are your thoughts on that? I'm optimistic about everything. I mean, what, what Coach Loxley's done, not only just in recruiting you know, players, but also obviously building his team around him, the way they finished the season, I think a lot of us should be really excited about next year. 
do you like the development of uh, Mr. Tagliavola? Uh, do, you, do you like the, the tools they're bringing in to help the offense? Absolutely. I mean, and, and what a year he had um, just in, in – not only just on the field, but from a leadership standpoint, it seems like the team's really route around him. And now to continue to recruit the way that they are, I, I, uh, I'm excited about what he's going to do next year. Every time I see you on Facebook, you either have your kids or you're talking about education and the foundation. What what are you doing with yourself again? Yeah, I mean, myself and, and so many others that had an opportunity to come to this amazing university, our lives were changed here. And so I'm a huge believer in education and learning. And so my passion and purpose is to help as many young people as possible figure out their next steps after high school. And for many of them, that's going to be a four-year college like the University of Maryland. And how do people find you on Twitter or Facebook? Yeah, so we're at ataloprep.org, and at ataloprep, you can find me and, and see all the things that we're doing around education. And it looks like the family's growing. I saw you uh, chasing children around the Xfinity Center. Absolutely. So one of the, the things that warms my heart is to see my daughter out on the court today uh, as a tiny terp doing her cheers, and then my little son Maverick, who uh, is going to be a bruiser himself, is, uh, is having a good time as well. All right, well, thanks for joining in. Always good to see you. And I, I guess under there, I saw the Italo Prep T-shirt. Absolutely. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to ask you to take your sweat off. That was a pretty cool T-shirt. Look up Jordan Steffi if you have children looking to get in the four-year educational arena. He'd be a great help. Thanks for being on Turp Talk. Thanks for having me. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Four Gates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Four Gates. Segment three, and usually we don't go this long, especially after a loss, 68-55. It's really apparent after the Rutgers games, or as Todd Carton says, the games that we sort of won, uh, maybe a little ugly, that either the three-point ball goes in or we lose. There, there is no second act. When you look at the depth of the team, we were talking that a lot of it, these guys really haven't played together that long. Right, and as we were talking, a lot of them have known each other in the past, but as you said, they haven't been playing well on the court that much, and I think the bench needs to be playing a little bit better, but as we've, we've seen that they haven't been, so I think that this could be a little bit of a, a rollover from what happened with Turgeon and how he's not here anymore, but I think this coaching staff needs to find something that they can put together on the court that's going to produce some offensive ability. And that'll do it. Jack has to get the press conference, and we have uh, some new photos. You've seen some of them here from a new camera uh, here on the Big Dog Post Game Show. So we'll get to our photo editing and look at some video. Jack will take care of the press conference, and we will see you back here after the Michigan State game on Tuesday night. As long as they keep playing, we'll keep doing this no matter what the results are. Good afternoon from College Park.